Aloha everyone and welcome to this video presentation from the National Weather Service office in Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm Mike Canton and today we're going to be talking about some of the weather hazards we face here in Hawaii, namely flooding and flash flooding. And we'll give you some great preparedness tips on how to stay safe during Hawaii's wet season. Hawaii's wet season runs yearly from October through April. However, flooding can occur at any time throughout the year. During the wet season, we often experience favorable conditions for heavy rain, localized flooding, and increased potential for flash flood events. A flash flood event officially is defined as inundation that occurs within six hours of the cause and usually that's heavy rains. Now in Hawaii you oftentimes have less time than that. You're going to have in most cases less than an hour from when the heavy rains start. Now that differs from regular flooding or river flooding by the amount of time you have and, and when we're talking about river flooding you're talking about days or possibly even weeks uh, from when you have the heaviest rains or even snow melt to when you have inundation. Some of the most memorable rain events in recent history include the 2004 Manoa Valley Flood, the Oahu Flood of 2008, and the statewide floods of 2006. For flash flood events in Hawaii, when we're talking about the large events, we're talking about tens of millions of dollars in damage. Now for the very big events, for instance, the UH Manoa flood event, which occurred in October of 2004, we're talking about 100 million in damage. In that event, Manoa Stream overflowed its banks and the overflow went through Manoa campus and in fact, very close to our forecast office here. Hamilton Library received quite a bit of damage and, and they lost important archives in that flood event. The deadliest rain event in Hawaii in our record so far has been the Anahola flood which happened in December of 1991. In that event, four people died when the Anahola stream overflowed its banks. Now, you can look at other sources of flash flooding, for instance, dam failures, and we actually had a more recent and more deadly flood during uh, the March 2006 period of heavy rains. In that case, seven people died when the Coloco Dam failed, and you know, that's where you have to look at uh, situations where prolonged periods of rain can cause weaknesses in the dam structure, and, and when the dam fails, of course, you're going to have catastrophic flooding. There is yet another hazard that comes with the wet season. Thunderstorms. The atmospheric conditions that bring the wet season can also provide a favorable environment for thunderstorms to affect the Aloha State. On the average, there are 58 fatalities every year in the United States due to lightning strikes. The wet season produces uh, several different types of hazardous weather conditions. And occasionally you can get severe weather, such as some tornadoes or large hail, or even strong downburst winds from individual thunderstorm cells, or even lines of thunderstorms. If a thunderstorm approaches your location, move indoors. You should also monitor the media. The no weather radio. and internet sources for changes in weather conditions. And be prepared for power outages. One other thing uh, with lightning storms is that you can have a higher likelihood of power outages. So prepare ahead of time, make sure you have extra water, especially if you live in a high rise, because you don't want to have to go 
up and down several floors in a condo for instance when the elevators are out so if you have water and food ahead of time then you'll be prepared to ride it out especially if, if uh, you have enough to last for a day you know, you're not going to have in all likelihood a power outage from a lightning storm that's going to last more than a day There are some basic steps that you can take in order to mitigate the impacts of the wet season. Clean your house gutters and drainage ditches. Remove leaves, dirt, and other debris that could clog the drainage openings. Inspect the gutters for any signs of damage, and make sure the water runs and discharges freely. During a heavy rain event, be prepared for increased road travel time or possible detours due to flooding. You should also identify evacuation routes ahead of time and be prepared to postpone, cancel, or adjust plans for outdoor activities. There are two main mistakes that people make during a flash flood event. One is trying to drive through a flooded roadway and the second is trying to cross a flooded stream on foot. Now in both cases, and especially in Hawaii, where streams come up very quickly, but they also go down fairly quickly. And so it's much better to wait it out, either find an alternate route if you can, or just wait there and wait for the flood waters to recede. Now, when you're driving, trying to drive through a flooded roadway, one thing that you don't know is the condition of the road. So in that particular case, if a road is flooded out, even if the waters recede, it's much better to try and find an alternate route until the authorities can make an assessment on the safety of the road because you don't know what the condition of the road is underneath the asphalt. It may be completely undercut, in which case you'll be driving over an eggshell thin road surface. If you experience wet season impacts such as flash flooding or high winds or severe weather such as tornadoes or even hail, you know, let us know or let emergency managers know either by calling civil defense directly or letting your fire department or police personnel know of what's going on, especially if you have damages to your property or experience any injuries. Let us know and that helps us keep the public better informed of the weather hazards that are going on in your neighborhood. Don't assume that we already know what's going on in terms of the weather impact. For more information, the latest weather products and forecast, check out our webpage at weather.gov slash Hawaii. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And remember, when it comes to staying safe, it's everyone's responsibility to get prepared. Mahalo for watching and aloha.